In this wild country, it's hard to think that anyone can garden successfully. But even here, on this most westerly tip of Britain, a very special garden has been created. 600 feet above sea level and resting on huge boulders of white granite is a house called Eagle's Nest. Its garden was made famous by the artist Patrick Heron, who settled here in 1956 and lived with his family in this windswept place for over 40 years. It's so exposed, I wonder just what plants will grow here. I'm meeting Susanna Heron, an artist herself, whom together with her sister Catherine, an architect, both look after the house and garden. This is an astonishing garden, Susanna. Look at this tree. It is. I spent my childhood in the, at the top. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> but there's one massive ancient stone that we simply can't miss the big rock. In Cornish myth, it's called the giant snuff box and was supposed to have been hurled from one end of Cornwall to the other. Oh, Susanna, look here. All that bedrock. I suppose the garden originally was just built on this, was it? Yes. It, yes, it was. You can see this rock cropping up through the garden and you can also see where, um, where these little terraces were built up to make planting areas. So they started from All scratch. If you can here. build a garden here, you can yes. build a garden anywhere. Wow, Susanna. These are so beautiful. You almost need sunglasses. They're so bright. They are. Absolutely luminous colour. Um, yeah, he, the, I mean, it is really the, the colour of these um, rhododendrons and azaleas and camellias and the way that they, they carpet the, the ground and they're against the sky that really inspired my father, yeah. Patrick Heron found something very special at Eagle's Nest, a unique garden of exotic plants, often from mountain areas, whose flowers had a beauty and vibrancy that transferred itself to his work. I think the most wonderful thing about this garden really is to do with its position in the landscape. It's such an exotic place that's in, in such a bleak place in a way. You're incredibly aware of the earth in the big sense of the universe. You really are aware of the sky and the sea and the planet in the most extraordinary way.